हेलो गाइस सो वेलकम टू आवर फोर्थ वीडियो ऑफ द साइबर सिक्योरिटी सीरीज इन दिस सेशन वी विल डाइव इनटू द साइबर फोरेंसिक्स एंड ऑडिटिंग साइबर फोरेंसिक्स इज द साइंस ऑफ कलेक्टिंग प्रिजर्विंग एंड एनालाइजिंग द डिजिटल इविडेंस व्हिच इज क्रूशियल इन सॉल्विंग द साइबर क्राइम्स एडिशनली ऑडिटिंग हेल्प्स द ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस टू इवेल्युएट देयर सिक्योरिटी मेजर्स एंड आइडेंटिफाइंग द पोटेंशियल वालनेरेबिलिटीज Understanding this concept is vital for protecting the sensitive information and ensuring a safe digital environment. So let's get started. So at first the introduction to cyber forensic. Cyber forensic is the practice of collecting, analyzing and uh, preserving the digital evidence from the computers and networks. This field is crucial for solving the cyber crimes. and understanding how breaches occur forensic expert use the specialized tools and techniques to recover the data that may have been deleted or hidden they help the law enforcement agencies in, in investigate the incidents involving the fraud theft or hacking cyber forensics ensures that digital evidence is gathered in a way that is legally admissible in court the process include identifying the sources of evidence such as hard drives mobile devices and cloud storage by examining these sources investigator can trace this this the steps of the cyber criminal so cyber forensics plays a vital role in reinforcing the trust in the digital systems it allows the organizations to learn from the past incidents and strengthen their defenses so overall cyber forensics is an essential aspect uh, of modern cyber security okay so now the computer equipment and associated storage media various type of computer equipment and storage media are used in the cyber forensic investigation this can include the hard drive the usb drive the smartphones and the cloud storage services each device can or contain the valuable evidence that may help to solve a case forensic investigators must be skilled in handling these devices to avoid damaging them they use the specialized tools to create the exact copies of the data without altering the original the pro this process is known as imaging it allows the investigator investigator to work on a safe copy investigator also examine the network logs which can provide the insights into the unauthorized access or the suspicious activity so understanding different types of storage media is essential for successful investigation each device has its own unique characteristic and data recovery method properly handling the equipment ensures that the crucial evidence remains intact and usable so now the role of the forensic investigator a forensic investigator plays a critical role in cyber security by analyzing the digital evidence and providing the insights into the cyber incident their primary responsibility is to gather preserve and analyze the data from the various sources they work closely with the law enforcement and the legal teams to present the findings and in a clear understandable manner additionally they must ensure that all evidence is collected following the legal procedures to maintain its integrity investigators often participate in the entire process from the initial response to the final report they also provide the expert testimony in the court so if necessary explaining their methods and findings okay so effective communication skills are vital as they must convey complex technical concepts to non technical audiences ongoing education and training are essential to giving the constantly evolving nature of the technology and cyber threats forensic investigator contribute significantly to building a safer digital environment their work helps organization to understand the vulnerabilities and uh, improve their security measures okay so now the forensic investigation process The forensic investigation process typically follows a series of structured steps to ensure the throughoutness and accuracy. 
first investigator assesses the situation and secure the scene to prevent the further tampering next they collect the evidence which may involve imaging hard drive retrieving the data from the devices and gathering the network logs this evidence must be documented meticulously to maintain a chain of custody after collecting the evidence investigator analyze the data using the specialized software tools this analysis may reveal the patterns the traces of unauthorized accesses or the malicious software once the analysis is complete investigator compile their finding into a detailed report this report outlines the method used the evidence collected and any conclusions drawn the final step is often presenting this information in court if needed by following these processes investigator ensures that the evidence is reliable and can withstand the legal scrutiny okay so now collecting the network based evidence collecting network based based evidence is crucial for understanding the cyber incidents and identifying the penny uh, the perpetrators investigator analyze the data packets the logs and the traffic flows to uncover the suspicious activities network logs can provide a valuable information about the user activities including the login attempts the data transfer and connection times firewalls routers intrusion detection system often hold a critical data about the security breaches investigator use the specialized tools to capture this data without disrupting the network's normal operations it is essential to act quickly as logs may be overwritten or deleted shortly after an incident by examining the network evidence investigator can trace the actions of the cyber criminals and identify the affected system this information is vital for restoring the security and preventing the future incidents network based evidence also helps the organizations to understand the extent of a breach overall through analysis of through analysis of network data enhances incident response the efforts okay so now writing computer forensic reports it is a critical part of the investigation process these reports provide a comprehensive overview of the evidence collected and the analysis conducted a well structured report should include uh, an introduction the methodology the findings and conclusions it must be clear and concise to ensure that readers can easily understand the information including the relevant charts graphs and screenshots can enhance the report's clarity additionally investigators should maintain a formal tone and avoid the jargon to cater to various audiences including the legal teams or jurors proper documentation ensures that the investigation can be re reproduced if necessary report may also serve as training material for organization looking to improve their security posture accurate and through reporting is essential for accountability in the cyber forensic field ultimately these reports help to inform the decisions on the legal actions and the security improvement okay so now auditing auditing is an essential process in the cyber security that involves evaluating an organization security measures the goal is to identify the vulnerabilities and assess the effectiveness of existing controls audit can be conducted internally by employees or externally by third party experts the auditing process typically begins with a, a thorough review of policies procedures and systems in place this review helps the auditors to understand how security measures are implemented next they perform test and assessment to identify the potential weaknesses okay the finding from the audit are then documented in a report that outlines the areas for improvement regular audits are crucial for maintaining a strong security posture as they help organizations to stay ahead of evolving threats they also ensure the compliance with legal and the regulatory requirements ultimately 
Effective auditing contributes to a safer digital environment for organizations and their stakeholders. So now, uh, planning and audit against a set of audit criteria. Planning and audit requires establishing clear criteria to evaluate an organization's security measures. These criteria may include the compliance with regulations, industry standards, and internal policies. Auditors begin by identifying the specific areas of the organization that require evaluation. This planning phase is crucial for ensuring that the audit is comprehensive and focused. Auditors also determine the methods and tools they will use to collect and analyze the data. Effective communication with stakeholders is essential to align expectations and objectives. So during the audit, auditors may, must document their findings meticulously for the future reference. The final report will highlight the strengths, the weaknesses and the recommendation for improvement. Establishing the audit criteria ensures that the evaluation process is systematic and throughout overall proper planning contribute to a successful audit outcome. Okay. So now the information security management system, the ISMS is a systematic approach to managing the sensitive company information. It involves people, the processes, the technology to protect the information assets. And information management systems helps the organizations to identify and assess the risk to their information. By implementing the policies and controls, they can mitigate this risk effectively. Regular audits and uh, review ensures that the information security management system remains effective and aligned with business goals. Organizations that adopt an ISMS can demonstrate their commitment to information secu security to stakeholders. It also helps in achieving the compliance with the regulations and the industry standards. The continuous improvement of the information security management system is essential for adapting to new threats. By focusing on a proactive approach, organizations can enhance their overall security posture. Ultimately, an effective information security management system foster trust among clients and partners okay so now the iso 27001 2013 is an international standard that outlines the best practices for establishing implementing and managing an information security management system this standard provides a framework for organizations to manage the sensitive information securely by complying with iso 27001 Organization demonstrate their commitment to information security. The standard outlines the specific the requirements including the risk assessment and treatment, security controls and continuous improvement. Organization seeking ISO 27001 certification must undergo a rigorous audit process to verify the compliance. Achieving this certification can enhance an organization's reputations and the credibility. It also helps to build the trust with customers and partners. Regular updates and revisions ensure that the standard remains relevant and in the evolving cybersecurity landscape. Implementing the ISO 27001 can lead to the significant improvements in an organization's security practices. Overall, this standard is essential for promoting the best practices in the information security. So thank you for watching our video on cyber forensic and auditing. We have covered the important concepts such as the role of the forensic investigator, the process of collecting the evidence and uh, the significance of audit in maintaining the security. Understanding these topics is vital for anyone interested in the cyber security. We hope you found this video informative and engaging. In our next video, we will discuss the cyber ethics and laws which are essential for navigating the digital world responsibly. Stay tuned for more insight into the cyber security. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. Okay.